Hello guys, my name is David Nielsen, Cape Town CDFC player and Mozambican international. Uh, I'm a left back and today I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a bit about my my childhood uh, up until where I am now. So I was born in Gaza province uh, in Mozambique and yeah you know as a child you you always have dreams you always have like visions of what you want to become when you grow up and for myself personally uh, i always wanted to become a professional soccer player like uh, i couldn't do anything else uh, beside uh, playing soccer uh, on the streets with my with my friends and like at that time it it wasn't like a bit challenging because like i was i was a child and i didn't understand a lot of things but i mean we were not fortunate enough in my village uh to at least have like an academy where like we can improve like our skills like our passing you know and yeah that's why we used to improvise when you love something like you're gonna find a way to do it and we used to, we used to play on the streets with my friends up until when my daddy had to move to another city because of work so we moved all together with my mom and my brothers uh so i have like uh five brothers and um i'm the third one in my family so when we moved to other city i think i was fortunate enough to to join a school uh where soccer was one of the activities and later uh on the year i was selected for the for the for the school team because the following year we had like uh, a school tournament and luckily it all went well uh one of the of the coaches like he was coaching one of the teams of of the city where i was i was living uh he invited me to join uh one of the teams there which was club de gaza i went for club de gaza and i only played for a year then that's when i i, I got a chance to play probably for one of the biggest development teams in that city which was the sportivo di taven when i got invited for to the sportivo uh i didn't i didn't see uh why i wouldn't join so yeah i said yes and probably that's where i develop i develop more of 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 my skills uh strength because yeah we used to train hard we we used to have a coach that yeah he used to train us like really hard and sometimes we will go for training and when you get home whenever you sit you just sleep that's 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 how hard we used to train but it was good though because we used to enjoy you know as kids you don't have like a lot of problems things to worry about it was only playing soccer and going to school so which it was good so but even though like uh i had all those opportunities my my dad my dad he, he was a, a a soccer player back in the days but my dad never looked at soccer as probably like something that could give me a profit and yeah you know sometimes you 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 have to understand the the side of your family as well you know uh my daddy played football and soccer probably never never gave him uh, a profit that he he could he could uh use for a living you know and he was worried about my future of course that's why he didn't want me to to become a professional soccer player he wanted me to go to university but man like i always had football as a dream and i couldn't uh let it go at least without trying i had to try if i had to fail then okay i will do whatever my daddy wanted me to do but uh in the back of my mind i had to try first so um I played three three years uh, for the Sportivo development side, and when I was eighteen, when I was eighteen, uh, I had to move. I had to not move necessarily. I had to to run away from home because my daddy wouldn't allow me 
to play soccer. So I had to lie to him. I said I was going for for holidays at my, my uncle's place in Maputo. And I couldn't lie to my mother at that time because she was a bit sick and she had can cancer. So it would be difficult for me having to lie to her, having to, to make her worry uh, about myself while she, she was crossing a difficult moment. So yeah, my mother knew where I was going, but my dad thought I was going on a holiday. But I was invited for trials uh, in Ferroviario. I went to Ferroviario of Maputo, where I, I finished my, 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 development, my development years. Uh, when I got to Ferroviario, I was given, uh, we call it like a junior contract. You know, it's not like a professional contract, but yeah, I was, I was earning and at that time I was happy because yeah, I never thought that, that at that, at that point, uh, in time I could be earning the money that probably I was earning as, as, a, as a kid, as, as like a youngster. And I played one, I played one year for the Ferroviario development side. That's when came my first professional contract, which I'm grateful for. But I, I feel like uh, everything was 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 a reward of my hard work, dedication, focus, and yeah, uh, never had to to give up on on my dreams. Ferroviario offered me my first professional contract, and yeah, I played for Ferroviario for five four years. I played for Ferroviario for four years, and. Uh, uh, in 2016, I got a, a opportunity to go to Portugal, but I went to Portugal uh, when it wasn't the right time for me to go to Portugal because the league was finished, so nothing was really happening in Portugal. And yeah, nothing worked in Portugal. I went to Finland for a week uh, and then I got injured, I got a knee injury. So it forced me to go back to go back to Mozambique. I went back to Mozambique to finish the league in 2016. And 2017, I got another chance as well to, to prove myself. I was invited to come to, to Cape Town, to Cape Town City uh, on trials. Uh, at first I didn't I didn't I didn't wanna come because like yeah I was a bit disappointed with, with myself because I went to Portugal and things didn't work out. But yeah, at some point I had to tell myself that trying once more, uh, it's, it's never a problem, you know, it's never a problem. You, you only get wrong, you only get it wrong when you try. You only get it right when you try as well. So I had to prove myself once more. I came to Cape Town, uh, January 2017. Uh, I got here, uh, I had... The, 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 I, I was fortunate to, 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 to get here and, and find a coach that could speak Portuguese. Uh, so I think that that helped me a bit uh, to settle because if I couldn't understand anything, uh, the coach always used to explain to me, which it was Eric Tinkler. But yeah, I think my first month yeah was a bit challenging because, you know, when you go to a a, a a new country where you don't know anything about about that country, you don't know the culture, you don't know how how people gonna treat you. So yeah, but my challenges were they were not uh, the people that that I got here because yeah, I have I have to say I got here uh, I couldn't like speak a word of, of, of English. My English like was really bad. I think that's the only challenge I, 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 I had when I, when I got here. But yeah, I, had, I have to praise my mates uh, that here, they helped me a lot. I think uh, we were family more than, more than anything, which uh, that is the culture of this club. You know, when you come to Cape Town City, you know, you, you, you coming to a place where this brotherhood where there's care for each other, where there's unity, you know, even when things go wrong, like, yeah, we have to stay united and, and all be one. So I think that's what I got here. I was well treated. Uh, I, I was, I was, I, I felt home away from home. So 
my only challenge that I had probably the first month was was the communication because like yeah English was was really a bit difficult for me to 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 speak.